okay hello friends this is Yusuf here welcome to another uh, python video so this is going to be our continuation of our tutorial so last few videos we have discussing about uh, like uh, create uh, file creation in python right and then json those stuff so based on that what we are going to do is actually going to create as a mini project okay this is called uh, password management system okay so it's not that much complicated it's simple only but we will understand uh, more about uh, json and also uh, file handling uh, in this thing so let me quickly show the output what we are going to trying to build okay so i have two versions of it so first i'll run the first version so if you run this program right it's asking for asking you for an account so account is nothing but your gmail or yahoo or facebook okay those kind of password accounts so i say uh, here uh, gmail okay and you can see it says password of gmail is something okay which we have already stored into the uh, application okay it is asking do you want to continue so if i say yes okay and then it's going to the next thing i mean it's asking for the next account so i give maybe uh, facebook it says password is not maintained for this account do you want to add so if i say yes right uh, it is asking for the password i give some password okay then it says stored successfully you want to continue so if i say yes and then give fb now it should give me the fb password okay but the problem with this particular version is to if i totally come out of the program okay if i run it again okay if i give fb it is still asking it is not maintained do you want to add it or not okay uh, why because we are not storing it uh, anywhere so which means if you see the program right okay basically we are having a single dictionary which is holding the key value pair which is nothing but the account and the password okay and then i'm just running a loop and then checking uh, trying to get the account uh, details of which they are trying to get the password and then i'm checking whether that key is available in my password uh, dictionary or not if it's available and then i'm just printing the value if not i'm then asking and then i'm adding it to the dictionary again okay fine it's simple but the problem with this is it is not persistent right so what we can do we can go to the next version of it so this is the next version if i run it right let's see the same stuff so i give uh, the gmail stuff and then you see it's already available now uh, if you want to continue i say yes and then give something which is not available okay oh still available okay that's good yes if i say maybe uh, xxx okay and uh, it's not maintained basically so i am adding it so xxx pwd okay it's stored successfully okay J now i'm just coming out by giving n if i run it again right if I give xxx, I should be still able to get the password. So because we are storing it somewhere, okay. So if you want to see where we are storing it, it is nothing but a simple file, okay. So we are having a file called password.txt, okay. And instead of just loading the data statically into the passwords dictionary, right? What I'm doing, I'm taking the data from that file and then I'm loading into the uh, variable. So here we are going to learn one thing which is nothing but how do we convert a string to a dictionary okay if you have a valid uh, dictionary data but available in in terms of string you can use something like ast dot literal eval function to convert that string into a valid dictionary okay so here only thing is if you go to file section we have this password or text file which is already storing the value okay i'm just taking this value initially and then i am giving into the passwords uh, uh, variable then we are doing the same stuff okay in this uh, while loop right we may have a uh, few new accounts coming in okay then we will be keep adding into the passwords dictionary but at the end of the thing right when the users to totally coming out of this i am just writing whatever i have in my passwords variable i am writing it as a again the file name uh, object with the i am replacing the replacing the data with the uh, latest data of the passwords variable so by, by this right we can retain the uh, value we have uh, we got from the user and then we can store it uh, in a in the same file and we can use it for the next run so apart from that there is nothing big here uh, i can see there is uh, nothing big to cover because uh, we, we have seen all these functions before right uh, like how do we uh, check if there is a key available in dictionary or not those things so if you have not watched my uh, 
dictionary and uh, tuple uh, video i'll give the link in the description you can watch it okay so this is all cool fine so it seems to be a simple project but we are learning few things but let's let me give you another in, uh, interesting thing okay i have another version of this particular uh, mini project okay but let me run it one let's show you what it is so it's in my pc not in the cloud ocean because it is not supported in cloud ocean okay so python 3 pwd so if you run it right again it's asking for the account but nothing big on this okay if i give the account number okay it says password copy to the clipboard it is not giving me the password in a print statement okay so what is this clipboard it's nothing but if i press ctrl v right now the password is able to display it or i can paste it anywhere so now there is a uh, ability of uh, copying the value to the clipboard okay that is kind of interesting so i'm going to explain what is that so we have a module called piper clip okay so uh, piper clip this is the module if you use this module you can get access to your uh, systems clipboard so let's see how this works so i have already installed it so if you if we don't have you have to do like pip3 install piper clip then it will be installed okay once it is installed what we can do i can show it interactively so i'm going to python 3 okay and say so import piper clip okay and then the beauty is piper clip dot copy there is a method called copy in which i can uh, say something okay something so now what happens is it's copied the word something into the clipboard which means if if i come anywhere okay and then press ctrl v the something will be printed here okay now say for example i am copying uh, this thing file name ctrl c okay and in here i say piper clip clip dot paste now that is pasted here because piper clip is having the clipboard access so whatever we copied it can be pasted here also this is a simple uh, trick what we can do with python and uh, using this if you see the program nothing big what i have done instead of printing the account right i have commanded that out here and then i'm just doing a piper clip dot copy of the password whatever it is and then i'm just displaying uh, the password is copied to the clipboard so that they can just do a control v to paste it so that's pretty much it because uh, remaining stuff is still the same what we have seen okay so i hope you, uh, you like this video uh, we'll be see continuing our uh, python tutorial going forward also and uh, we'll try to create uh, in the upcoming videos we'll see more about some exception handling and then we'll go to classes uh, i mean object oriented python uh, and then we'll see how do we create uh, uh, database okay we have a sql light uh, inbuilt database available in python we will see how to use this and then we will create some uh, web services and then uh, a web development with python using flask and flask basically okay so these are things coming up uh, i hope you like it okay and uh, that's it for this video see you in the next video with a different concept thanks for watching